Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. On today's episode, let's take a look at using Apple Music Connect to follow your favorite artists. So you can use Apple Music Connect on your iOS device or on your Mac. I'm going to demonstrate on the Mac here. Uh, and I'm going to log into iTunes here with a demo account. And uh, I see all the different tabs at the top. I'm going to go to Connect. And you see it just comes up with the screen here because I haven't done anything with Connect yet. So it's giving me some artists uh, that are examples that I could follow. And I just have to, to click the Follow button to follow them. I don't have Apple Music on this sample account here. And I wanted to demonstrate that. You don't need to have an Apple Music subscription to use Connect. It's free to use. But it's a little difficult to get into if you don't have Apple Music. But we'll use this as an example. So I'll also scroll through these. And just as an example here I'll follow one of the groups here. And now it changes to following. And now I can hit Go to Connect and it will jump to what the normal screen looks like for Apple Music Connect which is just updates, little posts from those artists that I followed with information. There could be uh, some music that I could play. There could just be a post with some information. Um, there could be uh, links. All sorts of different things that they can post here that I could view. And I can like something. I can uh, leave a comment. I can share uh, for all of these different posts. So it's very much using like using a social network. But the only people that are posting are artists. And you can then come in and follow and like and do other things with what they post. So the next thing you may want to do is follow more of your favorite artists. Now a lot of different ways to do this. For instance if you've got music already stored in My Music here, here I've got that default U2 album that everybody has. Um, I can go in and list by artists and under the artist name here I have a follow button so I could follow U2 there. And I could just go through all my different artists and the ones I want to follow I can follow. Now when I go to Connect I should have there both uh, Nine Inch Nails and U2. Now you may think that by going to the iTunes Store and going to an artist here that you should be able to follow them. But that's not the case. You won't find a follow button anywhere in the iTunes Store. However, it's in Apple Music. Now of course you don't have Apple Music in this example here. So how do you find things? Well you can go to New uh, under Apple Music. For You and New are both Apple Music things. And you can search. So let me search for an artist and I will go to their Apple Music page. Even though I don't have Apple Music I can't play any of this stuff. I can look at the top results here. Now I'm at the Apple Music not the iTunes Store page for the artist and there sure enough is a follow button. And now I've got Lana Del Rey also added among all the other artists I've got in iTunes Connect. And I can go and I can search for any artist I want by starting with new, uh, do a search and then go to their artist page and click the following button. Another way you could follow artists is if you click on your account information here. There's my little sample account. I can go click on my name and I can add a nickname that I use when I post. It's kind of like a Twitter name or something like that. And then when I post comments I will have that name there. I also have this automatically followed artist checked. So as I add artists from Apple Music I will automatically start following them in Apple Music Connect. Now since I'm not an Apple Music subscriber in the sample account then that won't ever happen. But for my, my regular account if I have that checked every time I add an artist they'll add to Connect. Unfollowing an artist is pretty easy. All you need to do is in Connect here just uh, click on their name there and you'll go to their artist page and you can when you roll over the following button you can unfollow. Now note that unfollowing means you no longer get new posts from that artist. But you'll still have the current posts. So all the old posts won't disappear. You just won't see anything new appear from that artist. Now in addition to artists you can also follow the DJs on Beats 1 Radio. So you can go into Radio, click on Beats 1 here and you can see the featured shows. So you can go to say Abstract Radio here and you can see there's a follow and unfollow there. So that you can add that as well. They'll mix in with the artists and you can actually in those stations just jump right to the Connect stuff and just see what they've posted to Connect just for that one DJ. 
Now how much back and forth there's really going to be between the artists and the audience really depends on the artists and how involved they want to get. Uh, you know how big their audience is, of course, uh, w whether it's manageable or not for them. Um, but so far there seems to be uh, some amount of back and forth, at least uh, posting of new and interesting materials. Apple seems to be encouraging that from artists and Apple has a lot of clout uh, through iTunes and Apple Music now so certainly artists want to pay attention to that and they want to be able to uh, promote themselves through Apple Music Connect. So it's kind of worth it for us as fans to at least see what they've got to say.